So there has been a lot of controversy behind the YouTuber Verbalaz. And if you don't know who Verbalaz is, let me just give a quick summary. Verbalaz is a YouTuber who creates beatboxing style videos. He is most commonly known for his cartoon beatbox battle series where two cartoon characters beatbox in a ring. But Verbalaz made a mistake where he spent $50,000 on a has-been hotel animation and she was having sex with him. But today is something different. Verbalaz ended up responding to the allegations behind all of this and it was posted on his TikTok. Here's the full video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Verbalaz. Um, oh my gosh, it's been a very crazy time of year. I've been getting a lot of emails that got me emotional, but not the way you think. It's a lot of people coming out to support me during these difficult times uh, with all the slander, defamation, and allegations being made against me. I was expecting everybody to like just believe in everything they read online, but instead a lot of people were emailing me saying that they still support me. And that honestly made me want to cry. And it also made me want to make this video for everybody that's still a fan of me. First off, I want to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to you guys for still supporting me. And second off, I want to sincerely apologize for my statements made online about my opinions with some of the stuff going on out there. But I realized my opinions was based on a broad perspective because I've been watching other, other YouTube channels, you know, talk about uh, stuff going on in Hollywood and that kind of influenced my own state of mind when I started making these comments out there. I'm like, wait, I'm I'm a Buddhist. I believe everybody should be at peace with each other. Instead of focusing on our similarities, I was focusing more on our differences, which caused me to make those statements out there. And I am sincerely sorry for that because that is not how I should be behaving as a person. We're all here for a reason. I myself was bullied in high school just for being myself. Um, I was a nerd, a geeky kid. I didn't walk, talk, and act like all the other kids. And I got bullied and picked on for that. And it's kind of weird that I didn't find the similarity in what other people out there may be going through just because you're not acting how somebody else thinks you should act because I went through that. But I got influenced through, you know, social media articles and different videos out there instead of thinking with my own authentic mind. And I really do apologize for that because I'm not that kind of person. I've never been that person in my past videos on YouTube and everything like that. So, but I am human being. Uh, just because I'm an influencer doesn't mean I'm not going to make mistakes. Uh, but I am taking this whole experience to learn from it and grow from it. Uh, I'm not going to take it as somebody going to be defeated. Like, why would you let an experience defeat you? You should let it make you grow as a person. And that's what I'm going to do. From now on, instead of focusing on our natural differences, I'm going to focus on our similarities. That's what I'm going to focus on from now on. Regarding the video, um, this actually was started in 2021 by a company called Cough or something. And it was finished in 2022. I was tinkering with the notion back then of making a separate YouTube channel that was intended for a more mature, older audience. So when the video was completed in 2022, I made a separate YouTube channel. Mark the video as not made for kids. You have to be 18 older and up to watch it for obvious reasons. I think the video was even unlisted. And after it was up for a while, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this because I still want to focus on the other stuff. So I deleted the video and deleted the channel. Uh, little did I know somebody saw the video and downloaded it and re-uploaded it and made it public on my birthday and decided to tag me in the video. But again, this video was intended for a mature audience and I wanted to just like put some different type of content out there separate from my YouTube channel. Videos out there, judge how you will, but I'm still gonna be making cartoon beatbox battles, puppet beatbox battles. There's still gonna be Five Nights at Freddy's videos. My main YouTube channels is always gonna be featured cartoon beatbox animation, puppet beatbox animation, or me doing <laughs> all that stuff. So, but yeah, that's literally everything. I'm going to be moving on from this. I'm just gonna keep uploading. Everything's a learning experience. I know everything happens for a reason. So everything that happened within the last week is meant to teach me a lesson. I'm supposed to grow from this. I'm not supposed to be defeated. We're not supposed to be defeated from anything that happens to us. So you can best believe I am 100% going to keep going with cartoon beatbox battles, public beatbox battles, everything. There's verbal ace is not done. I'm sure people out there want me to be canceled and quit, but you know, the only way we can truly be defeated is from ourselves if we decide to quit ourselves. And I'm not doing that. So sorry to disappoint the haters, but I'm going to keep going. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, sorry about all the craziness that's going on, but I am human. I'm going to make mistakes, but I'm going to learn from the mistakes. You will not see me repeat the same mistakes. If I do, one of those. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is a straight-up sad moment for Mr. Verbalaze, and you know, he spends a lot on his cartoon beatbox series. So what did you guys think about the apology video, W or L Verbalaze? Let me know.